Arirang TV is Korea's only worldwide English language broadcaster. Naturally, many viewers outside the nation keep abreast of what's happening in Korea through Arirang. But a budgetary and funding issue may provide insurmountable challenges for the channel you're watching right now to continue serving its purpose. Our Song Ji Sun explains further. It's been over two decades since Arirang TV, an affiliate of Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, started airing Korea's culture and current affairs around the world. Now, it reaches more than 120 million households in over 100 countries. But it's getting difficult for the station to carry on its duty due to worsening budgetary and funding issues. Despite the significance of Arirang TV, its budget is just 45 million U.S. dollars, far less than other global English broadcasters at just a quarter of France 24's budget and one-tenth that of Deutsche Welle. Arirang TV has been sustaining its own funding since its foundation, filling in an annual deficit of around $4 million, but now even that fund has run dry. To make matters worse, the government has slashed its 2018 budget by $8 million. Joining the National Union of Media Workers' move to normalize public media, Arirang TV is calling on the government to prepare a long-term plan so that we can continue our vital role as an international broadcaster and better represent the country on the global stage. It is now time for the Korean government to secure a stable legal and financial footing for Arirang so that the channel can create better content for global audiences and produce quality programs promoting the country and its cultural products such as the Korean wave. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.